So we've created an extrusion, a blend, uh, this revolve object, and then this sweep object. Because all four of them have been created in the same model in place generic session, when I click on the green check for the last time, I'll see that they will all be selectable as one object. And one of the main reasons for that is because the assumption is that you're going to have um, different objects sort of interacting with each other in different ways. A good example of that is using the void form of all those tools that we just looked at. So once I've edited or exited out and I'm just back in the regular project environment, no sketch mode here, if I select those objects, and again they all select as one, I'll see that I have the option to do an edit in place. And in that case, all of them now become editable. So if I click on the extrusion, I can now edit the extrusion and uh, again blend, I can edit the blend and uh, that applies for all the objects that I've just created. Um, what I can do in that situation is I can go back to the create tab and I can add negative forms or void forms using all those same tools. So if you expand void forms, you'll see that you can do void extrusions, blends, revolves, sweeps, and swept blends. And whatever shape I create, when I create these voids, will be removed from the shape that I happen to have overlapping with it. So just to look at this in a very simple sort of application, if I click void extrusion, so now I've gone one level deeper into sketch mode, it's waiting for me to create a profile for this void extrusion. I could, for example, just click on the rectangle tool, create a rectangle profile that overlaps with this cylinder, and use your 3D orbit to ensure that it does. And now when I click on the green check, it's going to create an extrusion based on these numbers over here. And that extrusion will be negative geometry, or in other words, it will remove the overlapping volume from whatever it happens to be uh, sitting up against. And it remains editable, so if I click on that void extrusion again, I can just change its placement by just playing with the grips. And if I need to, I can go back in there and edit the profile to be a little bit more precise. So wherever I have that void form overlapping with other objects, it will remove the overlapping geometry. So that same thing would apply for all these other objects. And maybe just to show another example of this, another application. If I finish that model now, I have that little notch carved out of the cylinder. I can also apply that to objects like this wall. So if, for example, I go back here to um, the architecture tab. And what I want to do is I want to create a shape that's going to cut away from this wall this kind of wall roof element that we created earlier. If at the back, let's say, I need to have this kind of finish at an angle. So instead of having a back face that's parallel to the front face, let's say that I need a situation where this has to be um, something more like this, where I'll have, just to draw a quick line, maybe it needs to do something like that and end at an angle. I'm gonna go back to my 3D view here and I'm going to create a void form that will overlap with this wall roof type object. And there'll be a little extra step that I have to add here, but we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to go back to the architecture tab, click on the component tool, do a new model in place. And again, this will just be generic. Click OK, accept the default name, that's fine. And right away I'm going to go to void extrusion. So if I click on void extrusion, and create this shape that once again has a bit of an angle to it. Then when I extrude this, uh, because it doesn't have or it wasn't created in the same session as this wall roof type object, there's going to be an extra step that I have to add here. And that is to just use the cut tool. So now I can click on this wall roof type object and then cut this new extrusion away from it and I'll be left with that. And all I have to do now is just click on the green check to finish that off. So it's just another way to do what we described earlier where we think of the initial shape of the object and think about what might have been removed from it to arrive at the final shape.